What's going on, you guys? I miss you guys. Took a couple weeks off and went to Korea, and I tell you guys, everything that stood out to me was kimchi, 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 garlic, a lot of fake noses, like a lot, like 10 out of 10. All the girls had like fake noses there, you guys, like cookie cutter. And Kias, a lot of Kias, a lot of Hyundais, and a lot of Hyundais. I was gonna do some content there, but now I understand why there's not a lot of content in Korea because majority of their cars, at least 90% of them, are Hyundais or product of Hyundai. And there's really not much to record there, so that's pretty much it for my trip from Korea. Um, one thing that really stood out there, every windshield is tinted. Every windshield is tinted there, you guys. And I, I swear if I lived in Korea, because I do window tinting for a living, I'd be pretty, pretty rich. Either that or we'd be blown out of the water because there'd be a lot of competition. But let's get into today's vlog, you guys. A little bit of Malaysian influence. Um, I got a sample film from China, but let me go get it and I'll show you guys. There is an FL5 there that kind of stands out. You guys might have seen them online. Ferez underscore FK8R. It's a FL5. I don't know, it's kind of weird his name, but he might have had an F FK8 before, but anyways. It's a Sonic Gray FL5. His windshield is fully tinted in a chameleon tint, which is kind of has a blue tinge to it. And I think it looks pretty sick. Wanted to try it out. So I had a company from Shanghai, which is a uh, Nanolink Materials, messaged me on Instagram and said, you put you want to try it out. And of course, you know what? Malaysian influences. I said, it's pretty sick. Let's go try it out. And that's what we're going to do today, you guys. Let's go. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to load up my pattern here on my soft cutting software. On the Civic Hatchback, they're all the same, Type R. Cutting software so much, makes life so much easier these days, you guys. Boom, there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and load up my material. Okay, let's rock and roll. So I only got one shot at this, you guys. So the windshield is prepped, nice and clean. You always have to work with a clean surface because uh, clean as you can, I guess, eh? All right guys, so we're just pretty much finished uh, heating down everything. Johnny's finally here. So now we're gonna go and prep the windshield and uh, we will install the film. First thing first is like, we're gonna throw this rope in so that all the electronics and stuff will be all protected underneath the dash. My uh, the long handle will actually put a hole in your seat here. Yeah. Yeah. Really, eh? Okay. Now we're gonna drape it. Yeah, I'll take some on this side now. Here you go. 
that will protect the investment. <laughs> All the way up. It's got, it's got, it's got. And sometimes, you know, overprotecting and no good. Okay, so we're going to bring some water in. Whoa, 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 settle down. So for all you guys that tin for a living, let me know. Do you guys uh, scrub or do you guys scrape or do both for your uh, window preparation? You know, a lot of times I hate is uh, when you're prepping everything and you miss a spot and you get that, well, Oh, you have tint on it. Really? Where? <laughs> you have, your windshield's tinted. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's not tinted, man. It has to be. Did you put your radium in there? This guy's always screwing around with me. Did you put your radium in there? No. Like I kid you not, you know when I hit it, when I heated down that film, it's it's actually it's thick. It took a it took me a while, and I definitely uh, struggled on it for a bit. It wasn't fun. Not good. Yeah, no way. It wasn't skillful enough. Should we clean again? bring the film in. Okay, coming in. I can tell, I know some of you guys are probably saying right now, oh, Flynn, why don't you just reverse roll it instead of bringing it in like this? But I'm, I don't know, man. I'm adamant about reverse rolling. It's just so dirty. There's no, nothing good about it. Especially if you have a second hand to help you, just, I, I think it's just easier to just peel it and install it. Nice and easy. You can take my side if you want. You good? Take okay. Mm -hmm. short on my side take it to your side a little bit please okay you good yeah anchoring <laughs> pressure's on because we only got one piece one piece <laughs> yeah, the pressure's really on eh no pressure yeah, no pressure for you. Pressure, you no. Know. Easy. straightforward okay I'm just gonna hard card the rest of it and uh, hopefully we just don't scratch the film in the process and uh, looking good looking nice and clean being the life being the life hopefully it turns out really nice you guys just what you see online, is sometimes in person, is not always the same.
Okay, so I'm gonna give it a couple days, let it all dry, and we'll take it outside in the sunlight and see if it looks good as it is on uh, on uh, in pictures. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So it's been three days. So I finally gave the uh, the film the Foley here, give it a chance to be optically clear with the indoor lights here. It's LEDs. Uh, it doesn't really show much of a blue hue. Depends on the angle. You can actually see it. I'm gonna pull the car out into the sunlight for the very first time. So I'm gonna get, I guess you're gonna see my reaction. Either it's gonna be good or bad, but uh, so far it looks pretty good. It, clears, it cleared up pretty good. To uh, just give you guys a little bit of a background on the film itself, a good window tint is very nice and crisp. Um, this one feels a little on the jello-y side. So a lot of you guys that are in the window tinting business, you guys would know what I'm talking about. Uh, optically clarity mm, could be a little better. So I'm gonna hand over the, the camera to Johnny. Hopefully it's good, or it's gonna be just a waste of time. Okay, all right guys, so first time we're getting direct sunlight. And we're gonna roll up the window. I'll leave it to what, what do you think? Am I gonna be impressed or? No, I don't think so. Oh, I didn't do, I didn't do nothing. It looks like the same as Air 80. There's a little bit of rainbow in the sun, that's it, not much. Like if, if you come over here, you can see it. You can see it a little bit here. I don't know if the camera can capture it. I don't think the camera can pick it up. Oh, disappointing. You can see it a little bit, but it's not like in your face. Complete waste of time. You can still see a little bit. Not, it's not like, yeah. Like if you look directly down like this, Johnny, you can see it. Right? Yeah, maybe. I don't think the camera picks up. It might be too dark. So here's a better angle of it. You can actually see the blue, but it's very, uh, it depends on the angles. And in person, it's like, it's really, really blue. But from this angle, you don't see much here. All right guys, so that's, you know, the wow factor wasn't really there for me. I was, I guess what I saw online and in, on Instagram and stuff, the blue is more vibrant, but again, you know what? A lot of times it's edited. So if this is something that you're looking for, maybe it's just a little subtle look. It's, it's just like the uh, Land Rovers and the Mercedes. It's very, very subtle. It's when you drive by, you can actually know that there's some kind of blue hue or some kind of film on it. And that's what this film kind of reminds me of. So I want to say a big thanks to Bella Fang at Nano Links for uh, sending me out this uh, film to sample. I'll put her information in the description below. Uh, if you guys want to try it out, uh, you can get a sample from her or purchase it from her uh, directly, you guys. Before I end off today's vlog, I want to give you guys a sneak peek of what's going to happen for next week. So some of you guys have might have seen in the last vlog, there's two boxes that are on the floor and uh, we're gonna be installing that next week. Pretty sick. So look forward to that uh, next week, you guys. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. We'll see you guys in next week's vlog. See ya.